Hello, it is Nick and Adina Johnson. Thank you for coming and meeting with us for this series. And we're doing a series on predictors of marital distress. And we've already started with the first one. And the first one was escalation. And we will put a link to that video. Mm -hmm. So this is the second one. The second one is invalidation. And that is a pattern in which a person, um, one partner is subtly or... Uh, directly puts down the thoughts, feelings, and character of another. And that's not good. That's invalidation. That's not validating a person and um, being negative with them. And that's unfortunate. So that is the second one, invalidation. And Nick is going to give us an example of invalidation. Uh, yes, invalidation. A way that a husband might... Or wife. Or wife, yes. Might invalidate their spouse would be that if they came home to a cooked meal um, that was not, that did not, um, was not ordered or um, picked up or anything like that. Actually, you know, you know, it really doesn't have to be that way. You know, you can make it or you can pick it up. I mean, you're getting fed. Um, <laughs> you can take it out of the package. <laughs> you can take it out of the package. You can warm it up, heat it up. Um, but you come home and there's a meal that has been placed on the table. And instead of looking at uh, the food and the effort that was put into whether it was making it or picking it up, complaining about the food. Yeah. As far as saying, you know, talking about how, you know, the, the, the chicken is dry or the gravy is lumpy or whatever it is, that's invalidation. Yeah. They're saying that, hey, you know what? Um, your efforts aren't your good efforts enough. Aren't good enough. Yeah. Or, say, for instance, uh, if you have gone... Uh, you know, to school, got a degree yeah. or whatever, and you got a degree and saying stuff like, you know what, they, they, I mean, so, I mean, their whole family is smart. It wasn't no big deal. Right. You know, like, oh, I mean, it's the effort to go to school right. <laughs> and get a degree. Yeah, invalidating, oh, it's not a big deal, or their parents pay for their education. Well, thank God they had parents that could, because they yeah. definitely didn't. Uh, yeah, bless their heart, I didn't either. <laughs> I mean, I had an uncle. Sam. Uncle Sam, who, <laughs> who paid for my degree, yeah. that's for sure. So um, those are really uh, things that invalidation. Well, and I want to bring you your attention to the example that you gave. You're in trouble now. The example that you gave, I want to say with with us, because I, I cook pretty much every day. And if, and if not, we will usually cook enough for a couple of days so you can just add sides to it. So that's one thing that I always do. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You know I'm going to get you. If something's coming, I'm ready. I'm bracing <laughs> well, for impact. Well, I want to say one good thing is with our 22-year-old, with our oldest son, when every time y'all sat down, you were a great example of this, whereas you guys would say thank you for the meal. Like mm -hmm. the second you sat down, before you even took a bite, you would always say you know, thank you for the meal. Thank you for cooking. And so mm -hmm. that was really good. But here is one thing that happened. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? I don't. You don't? Okay. I I cook, I, when I cook chicken, I normally just put it in the pot. And <laughs> <laughs> you know I it now. now. Yeah. yeah. I put it in the pot. Um, and I usually have, I have like a wok and I stick it in the oven and I normally season it after I clean it. I season it and I put teriyaki sauce on it and I just cook the chicken. Well, we have been married. I mean, this next year is 20 years we've been married. So I have been cooking for him for about 15 years. And he finally says, I don't like wet chicken. Yes, I've been crying in the dark for 15 <laughs> years about that wet chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I have been fighting it down <laughs> for Never 15 been years. Complained. That's when you should have used. I crying in the dark. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> stop it. That's when you should. <laughs> My face is hurting. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, what? Hey, unless After a person wouldn't win a year, I went 50. I <laughs> you did, and I'm like, could you please? Told me that you did not like my food. Like, it's not that I didn't like your years food. ago. <laughs> it was not. It was the one particular thing about the chicken. Cause what happens is, I mean, when you cook the chicken, 
He's in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're right. You know, when it, we have it like in a wok, and you don't put it like on a tray or anything, right. it will sit in its own juices. Yes, and that's good for stuff like turkey and beef. But you no know, chicken, I like chicken I, a little bit drier. I thought it was moist and tender, and no, yeah. see, because I grill a lot of my chicken, so that's yeah, why I like I do like that. So what so, happened is that I I think. I did. I make a. I hope I made a complaint burger with crust for change. You should have made one a long time ago. But, but I did find it because I didn't. I appreciated the effort that you was putting into it. I yeah. really did because I know that I could have been eating canned soup every day. But I mean, you you put forth the efforts to cook, so I didn't want you to feel as though um, you didn't appreciate. I didn't appreciate it. it. So what I did at that point, I was like, O M G. So I've been cooking this way for so many years, over a decade. So now I just decade and a half. I Who's just counting? put it barely you. I just put it on a tray and let it dry. There you, go. you don't like it wet. I don't. And juicy. I like it dry and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for that, honey. Um, I appreciate it. Um, it, it. It is succulent, and is it is very good now. Get so back to invalidation because um, I'm invalidating what you're saying now. <laughs> no, but it, as far as invalidation. Um, if I I tell you if I did not thank you for it and then pointed out that situation that was definitely an example of invalidation so you went until you couldn't take it no more <laughs> um, I, I felt as though you know I, I was vested enough you know after all those years it's so unfair I, I could I could make, I'm I could, invalidating what you're saying still <laughs> I could make a suggestion or, or a, a, a light comment about the the barnyard, uh, I can't I can't say what they used to call chicken because oh yeah that's not good that's human trafficking now yes all right like barnyard human trafficker yeah um, but yeah it is I, I did it so um, my attention was not to invalidate and and a lot of times people do invalidation and it's sad because it can be so deflating to yeah. an individual. If you have somebody that, say, for instance, you know, if you've done something you've, and, it, and it's really taken a lot out of you to do it, and someone finds the most minute oh, yeah. thing to complain about, it's hard. So yeah. if I cut the entire yard and you say, hey, you know, you're not going to trim the bushes. Right. Or, you know, if I paint the house, you say, hey, you know, so this the ain't really the that, color that I was wanting. Right. You know, so. So the effort that you put forth is not valid. I just mm-hmm. invalidated everything that you've done, and that's not right. Mm-hmm. Which is you—you you didn't do that. You told me it was wonderful. Yeah. Every time and said thank you, and then I did crushed me. I didn't mean to crush you. It's I'm <laughs> teasing. It's fine. Yeah, but when we invalidate individuals, we we'll want to be mindful of when we're doing this. Um, it's it's a lot of things we we can say and do. All right. I, I think this might be a, a platform for invalidation. Okay. To to speak of invalidation, uh-huh. and I'm gonna say this. Am I in trouble now? No, 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 no. Okay. This is what I think people do, and I don't know if this is subconscious and it comes out in their communication. But whenever you talk to somebody and they refer to something that you do as little, oh yeah, that's, that's invalidation. So this is what I mean. Oh, I see you got your little um, YouTube see you got channel. Your little, you got your little YouTube, uh, your little YouTube channel, your little video, your little uh, little, little 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 store down there at the corner. I see you, you got your little store now. I saw, I saw that little vacation y'all went on. Yeah, what well, that little job. Um, you got a little job. Oh, now. I see you got your little that. job now. Yeah, that happens a lot. That's invalidation. People use that a lot of times. Yeah, so literally, if I'm not talking about the size of something, I try not to use the word little anymore. Yeah. So if I'm ever talking to anybody in conversation and they hear me say something's little, um, call me out. Because right. I have made a conscious effort to not do that because I realized, and what got me is that somebody said to me, well, like, hold on. Like, that was a backhanded compliment. I was, I, and I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was like, oh, I see you built your little house or whatever. I'm like, well, yeah, maybe it was something like that. But I don't remember what it was. But in my head, I was like, this is a pretty big deal. I'm like, I work pretty hard at this. Right. So or you got I, your little degree. Yeah, I was like, so I know this ain't little. I was like, right. so that's when I was like, you know, and I don't even know if people consciously no, they're think doing it. it. Oh, they do it. I think they do. I think, I don't know. I think that word is so ingrained in people, but I do think when they say that, I think they know they're trying to invalidate you. Take a swipe at you. Yeah. Don't, don't be one of them little people. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be a little person. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> so I, I, I think, I mean, I just say little as far as those people who use the word little like that. Yeah. You know, that, that's definitely. And, and, if you got 
guys, if you use that word or you say those things or you invalidate, put it in the comments and let us know how, you know, it's really not invalidation. Yeah. Let us know. Or if you've been cut by somebody saying a little before, please put it down there too. Because like I said, I know I've done. That's what kind of, sometimes you're not mindful of stuff until it happens to you. Yeah. And when it hit me, I'm like, man, I was like, all right. You know, you, you, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was. But when I we talk. That's jealousy too. Yeah. Sometimes. And it could be creeping in. But um, one thing I talked about in validation, but as it can be deflating to a person that you're invalidating, it can cause them to not want to do it anymore. Yeah. Okay. So I, I ran, if I invalidated my wife on her cooking or anything like that, I would run the risk of her being like, you know what? I'm going to protect myself. I ain't even nothing to invalidate no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uber got you covered. Yeah. You, you know? got problems with it. Eat in the street. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So you don't want that. So you want to be mindful that whenever you invalidate somebody, you're running risk of that. So if you talk about the husband cutting the yard or the way the wife cooks the dishes or cooks the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're cooking the dishes, that is a problem. Okay. But, you know. I was cooking we, the dishes we, with the chicken in it. We can work it out. Um, yeah. But, you know, ways, you know, the dishes are cleaned or whatever, you know, that invalidation. And that actually trickles back to where you mentioned before that complaint with request for change. Yeah. Um, I think I may have, I don't know if I mentioned the whole grill thing or not, like using the, the grate inside of the, uh, the No, oven. I just did you it. Just I just doing started it. doing okay. it because, I mean, it's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like you said, I don't want you to be unhappy with it. I mean, because you, you love the way I season my food. So if you were unhappy with that, it's nothing wrong with you saying, hey, you know, I don't mm -hmm. like that, even though it, did, it was a shocker. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, don't invalidate someone's efforts because that will stop them. Call. If you want to stop me from doing something, invalidate. invalidate. Yeah, invalidate. Yeah. And I've, I mean, and that's not just that's that's not with anyone. Of course, it's with you mm -hmm. if you invalidate it. But, you know, and that's what's so important is when individuals do that with their spouse. And then that shuts them down and they don't want to... Um, want to give that way anymore because you have to recognize a person is given of themselves when they're doing something and then for you to cut them down it's very hurtful it really is so we want to avoid that validation and so i think this was the second of our series mm -hmm. so uh, we will link to the escalation video um below and also it's going to be somewhere up at the top where you can like click on it as well toward the tail end of the video also, we were going to discuss the next two indicators or we think as far as characteristics, predictors, of, uh, marital predictors of marital distress. So that is what's going to be coming. Um, as always, please make sure to share, like and subscribe. Put stuff in the comments. Reach out to us. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Instagram, we're out there, and also send us emails. If you have questions in regards to um, relationship situations, um, please feel free to use us as a resource. Also, if you know anyone who's preparing to get married, um, please share these videos with them as well because uh, we're going to have a couple of a couple more things that's going to come up where we're really going to focus on individuals that's getting ready to get married. You know, what things uh, should you be mindful of? What things uh, did we maybe not think about? Before we got married, that after we got married, like, oh, okay, well, we should have thought about that. So we're going to have some of those things coming up uh, as well. So uh, please make sure to share this with them. All right. So as we sign off, want to thank you all so much for being here with us. We hope that you have a great day. And once again, this is Nick and Adina Johnson. Take care. Keep loving one another. Thank you.